Hello, and welcome to the Scholarly Communications video series from the Himmelfarb Health Sciences Library. My name is Ruth Buter, and I'm the Associate Director of Library Operations at Himmelfarb Library. This brief tutorial will provide an overview of Cabell's predatory reports. Let's get started. Predatory journals are characterized by providing false or misleading information to authors, deviation from best editorial and scholarly publication practices, a lack of transparency, and or aggressive and indiscriminate solicitation practices. Predatory reports is a tool researchers and authors can use to help determine if a journal is a reputable scholarly journal or if the journal is predatory. There are reports on more than 17,000 predatory journals. Information provided includes journal identification, which includes the journal title, publisher, discipline, ISSN, and website links, violation categories, which include the areas in which there is evidence of a journal's deceptive behavior, and violation severity, which tracks the severity of deceptive behaviors. However, many medical and health sciences journals that are predatory in nature do not appear in Cabell's predatory reports. So just because a title is not listed as predatory in this resource, it does not mean that the journal is reputable. If you have questions about a specific title that isn't found in Cabell's predatory reports, please reach out to Himmelfarb and we can provide feedback on specific titles. Let's take a look at predatory reports and see it in action. To get to predatory reports, start at the Himmelfarb Library homepage, himmelfarb.gwu.edu. From here, click on the All Databases link under the Popular Resources area on the left side of the page. This will bring you to our alphabetical list of databases. Click on C at the top of this list. The first title on the list is Cabell's Directory of Publishing Opportunities. Click the hyperlink to the resource. Once you're on the Cabell's homepage, click on the access icon, the round icon with two people inside on the top right corner of the page. From this page, you can go directly to predatory reports by clicking on the predatory button on the top right in the featured area of the page. A list of predatory journals will appear. You can scroll through this list. Alternatively, you can also search for a specific title or discipline using the search bar at the top of the screen. I'm going to search for public health. You'll notice that the results page defaults to all journals. To limit the results to just the journals with predatory violations, click on the predatory reports button at the top of the results list. The updated results list now only includes titles with predatory violations. I'm going to click on the first result, Health Education and Public Health. An overview of the journal appears below the result, which includes the categories in which the journal has violations on the left, and general information about the journal, such as discipline, launch date, and ISSN on the right. To view more in-depth information about this title, click on the Violations tab. This title has four total violations, which include severe, moderate, and minor violations. In the bottom left of the card, you can filter the violations listed by category or severity of violation. I'm going to filter the violations by severity. This journal's severe violation is a lack of peer review. The journal also has a moderate publication practices violation. Authors are published several times in the same journal and or issue. Minor violations include a website violation, the use of a virtual office or proxy business as its physical address, and an access and copyright violation, lacking policies for digital preservation. In the bottom left corner of the card, there is a link to the journal's website. Clicking on this link will take you to the journal's website so you can investigate the journal yourself. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this brief overview of Cabell's predatory reports. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please visit our video library. If you have any questions about the material covered in this session or have questions specific to your research, don't hesitate to contact me at rbueter at gwu.edu. 
On behalf of the Himmelfarb Library Scholarly Communications team, thank you for listening.